it's Teresa and I have a massive Dollar Tree haul for you. I believe most of it is Christmas and I say I believe because I've been kind of like stockpiling new stuff that I bought like off in a corner. Not really even a corner. I don't have corners in my room, my craft room. Are you crazy? They're already filled with stuff. Um, if you haven't noticed, if you've never seen my craft room like tour, check them out. Um, I'll try to remember to link it for you below. It's a little crazy. There's going to be a new one coming. I was just closing my computer screen because I need the space. Um, there will eventually be a new craft room tour and review of some stuff, but that's going to probably be coming towards the either end of December or beginning part of January. Let's get into our haul though. I am sorry, I did not take them out of the bags yet, so they're gonna be a little rustly. I'll try to minimize it as much as possible. I apologize in advance though. <laughs> all right, so kicking it off. Again, this is all Dollar Tree. I think it's mostly gonna be Christmas stuff, but it's been some time since I bought it, so it's mystery to me too. <laughs> uh, so I've got this little Santa wreath, Santa. Woo! I actually just woke up from a nap. Um, it's Sunday. I'm posting this quite a few days after Sunday, but I was, I don't know if I've been like battling allergies or a cold or what, but I just took like a two hour nap and I felt amazing. <laughs> that doesn't typically happen. Uh, but I've got this snowman wreath form and I'm like, I have an idea, but I was thinking, I was like, how many ways can you do this? Uh, I would love to know what you guys think. If you've done like this kind of thing. I'm sure they've probably been around last year. I don't remember them. You guys let me know. Have you seen this before? If you've seen it before, used it before, what kind of thing did you do with it? I'd love to know. If you have pictures of it over on Instagram, tag me on Instagram. I'm over there as Teresa BDIY as well. And you'll notice this is on my regular channel. I have a Home and Hauls channel, but it hasn't been doing fix spectacular, so I decided I was going to post this on my regular channel. So there, take that, Home and Alls channel YouTube people. Not really. I love you all too. But for whatever reason, it's just that channel hadn't been doing great. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put it on my regular one. It's all crafting stuff anyways, or at least it will be for me. I found these. I think they're the same. Are these the same? Yes. So I bought two of them. Uh, these like die cut. Are they called die cut? Nope. They're just called decor. They're in the crafter square section, apparently, or maybe you'll find them in Christmas. Um, they have just the craft, regular crafter square tag, but look how pretty those are. I mean, even if you just add like some stain or something to them, or just want to paint them white or gold, or I don't know, but they're really pretty. You know, it'd be cool. I am going to try. I don't have any Christmas napkins yet, but I'm going to try. I had seen Craft by Corey do a like decoupage like a napkin on something a wood thing from Dollar Tree and then use a lighter to burn off all the stuff that wasn't you know where you wanted it and it worked amazingly and I want to try that maybe I could try that with this I'll have to find some cute Christmas napkins they're starting to kind of trickle in I mean I don't want like a big old Santa on it that wouldn't make any sense but I don't know I'll have to try that anyways Got two of those. This is going to be a long video, so I hope you're comfy. Pause right now and go get something to drink or or something, a little snack, because it's going to take a while. Found this. This was in the regular crafter square section. It says home. I got two of them just because they're little cutouts. They're, well, woodish or MDF. I'm not sure. It's not, it's not like their typical, like, thick cardboardy kind of stuff. It says, oh, it says wood. We're going to pretend like we're going to expect that it's wood then. So I got two of those because I was like, you know what? Why not? That's pretty cool. If you can't find them and you have a Cricut, especially if you have a Cricut maker, you can cut out of like really thin wood veneer. I actually did a project not that long ago out of the thin wood veneer. It turned out great. I was really surprised. So I haven't had the best of luck with like the, the like harder surfaces and stuff that uh, Cricut does. Um, found one that says peace. Does it, see, it still says the regular one? I think I found this one in the Christmas section though. The only thing is, is like those ones, they had made it to where you could still see the O on home, you know, where it had the little part on the middle. This one, it doesn't do that for the P and the A. So I don't know. I only got one of them just in case I don't use it. Peace doesn't really do a lot for you outside of Christmas, right? Unless you do 
very 70s vibe kind of stuff. You let me know. You know another way to use the word peace. Um, this was just random. I decided to get this little dragonfly wood cut out again from Craft for Square section. I got this specifically because I like dragonflies. I actually have a dragonfly tattoo on my leg. It was my first tattoo I got when I was like 18 years old. Uh, I have a few more <laughs> than, the, than this one, but uh, I got this one because I liked it. I was like, you know, I'll hold on to it for spring and it'll be really cute. We can do it really colorful or something. I don't know. You gotta buy it when you see it, right? You got to buy it when you see it. I've got this star wreath form. I thought that was pretty. I could use it either for Christmas or for the 4th of July, that kind of thing. And it's not, it's not labeled as Christmas. It just says star wreath form, <laughs> but it's a regular time of year kind of thing. Oh, I just stabbed myself with it. Be careful, the ends are pokey. So there's that, I thought that that was pretty cool. I don't do a lot of like really regular wreaths, so usually they have some other kind of spin on them. Um, found this, obviously this is Christmas. It's just really, I thought it was really cute. I thought it was pretty well done. It is obviously a tree topper, but I thought even if you take this off, cause it is just hot glued on there. Even if you take that off and use this on something else, it'd be super cute. I'm not sure how well it would look. Maybe less. Yeah, it's got like a little little thing on the bottom. So maybe you'd have to, I don't know. I'll have to play around with it and see how that would all, how that would work. I'm not sure. Anyways, but yeah, just cute. I like the black and red uh, check. I like the white and, the white and black check. Gingham, buffalo plaid, whatever you prefer to call it. Bag, sorry. Um... I am not the crazy gnome person like some are, which is fine if it's your thing. Sometimes they're cute, sometimes they're a little creepy. These ones are actually kind of cute on the ribbon. I thought that that was really cute with all the little candy cane looking colors. You know, the reds and the blacks and the white, silver. I thought those were cute. So I got two of those. That is a two and a half inch ribbon, nine feet long. Usually when I see a ribbon that I like, I buy two of them because it never fails. If you only buy one and you make something, you won't have enough ribbon. It just, it seems to never fail. Or you try to make multiple things with the ribbon and not have enough. So it's probably a, a never ending struggle. But that's right. Found this nice big red and black buffalo plaid check bow. It's a perfect bow. I cannot really make a perfect bow. So I like to have some of these on hand just in case. And a lot of times the ones that they sell at Christmas time are kind of covered in glitter. I try not to get a lot of glitter stuff just because it gets everywhere. My husband hates it. My son hates it. My daughter would be covered in it if I let her. Um, but you know, that sounds kind of normal for a little girl. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like super parched and I just took a sip of water a minute ago before I started. And I've got some of the fabrics I've been finding. I found, I think, I think I found like, there's another grouping of them in here somewhere. Cause I saw them like just, I think they found these ones just randomly thrown somewhere. I was like, those are mine. I'm taking them home with me. I've got one, I'm gonna open them up. I don't store them like this. I store them folded in a drawer, which you'll see eventually, hopefully in like when I'm doing my next organization video towards the end of the year. Oh. It's almost like a comic book style look to it. That's really cute. But just bought one of them. I'm trying to think of how big they are. They are 21 by, tw by 20. So, and then this one is the, just some candy cane ones. I think I'll open them up. They have to be so hard to open. Like they're gonna just get away. Dollar Tree and their stickers, right? It's like the quality on some things from Dollar Tree is not so great. The quality of their freaking adhesive on the stickers, top notch people. <laughs> so thought those were really cute. It's the same size as the last one. And then we've got two more. And I probably ended up with like a repeat of something in there. Maybe the candy cane ones, I can't remember. Oh my goodness. There we go. Once you get it started, it's not so bad, but getting it there, a little harder. And then just this stripe pattern. Oh, does that? It's red and, and like a dark green. It's hard to see sometimes in the light. So those are super cute. Oh, did I get two of those? Oh, sure enough did. I got two of the um, comic book ones. I don't know. Sometimes I just grab things and throw it in. 
I've got this. I thought it was really cute. This little tray with the truck, get the tree. I just, I don't know. Usually I'm not crazy about the truck either, but at Christmas time, I can't help myself. I think it's adorable at Christmas. Maybe the gnomes do it, kind of get me in that Christmassy feel too. Ooh, that's a receipt. We're going to put that over there. <laughs> oh, these are the mugs. Nope, these are not mugs. These are something else. I found this in the Christmas section. And I'm sorry, there's going to be a lot of rustling because they're breakable and they're all in one spot. And I'll be... I'm sorry. I'll be shocked if they have all survived just because they were sitting on my floor moved and moved around a couple of times. But I don't know. I think it's... Is it a dog? You guys will have to let me know. Is this supposed to be a dog? Is it supposed to be something else? Is there some significance to this to Christmas that I don't know about? And it's like not even a Christmas tag and it just says decor. So they have this one, they have a chicken and I think they had something else that I'd seen online but I didn't, I haven't found it in store. So I thought it was cool though. I don't know what it's for. Did I buy a bunch of them? Not a bunch. I think I bought like two of, maybe I bought one of those, two of those. Let me see, hold on. I only bought them that first time I'd seen them. I'd seen them once after that in the stores. I feel like there's something else that goes with it because there's no, they almost never put out two of any kind of thing. You know what I mean? If they make a set of something, there's usually three or four or more of them. Um, so I feel like there might be something else out there, but I don't really, I don't really know. So see, so you've got the chicken. I want to say about two of each. It's got a hole in the bottom. I don't think you've put a light in it. Let me know, guys. Is there some significance to this that I don't know about for Christmas other than the fact that they're white? I mean, there's that, right? I'm trying to see. Did I get... I'm not going to bother unwrapping them and bother you with the sound. I got two of each, though. Another receipt. See, I think this is probably like three or four trips. I found the regular mason jars. Now, I had a little bit of a stockpile of these, and then when the fall ones came out, I bought a bunch of them. I'm really not sure why, because um, I didn't like them as much as I liked these ones. I like the regular ones. These are a little tricky to get off, but if you have a heat gun, you can get them off, and same with like the felt leaves. I get them off as best as I can, and then I take a power sander to it. I have just like a, an orbital sander, funny I uh <laughs> I have a garage but I don't really I most of the time my car is parked in it so it doesn't really have the space to work out of so I'm trying I'm not trying to flash you anything any of that but I usually will use my sander on to get the rest of this off of there um I usually plug it in <laughs> I have a back uh little patio door that doesn't go to a patio it goes to the outside part of the house but it's like outside of that is like pavers and stuff in our backyard and there's not an outlet right there so I will put it in the outlet I have an extension cord and it's like an interior extension cord this is really this is how I roll people I put it in the inside the house which is like around this little like it's not even a little tiny bit of a wall barely a wall I put it around there I put it out the door and I'm right outside like on a patio table <laughs> sanding I'm high I'm high tech guys high tech um but I that's long story short not really it's still long it was a long story to get to this I sand that off but I got a couple of them I think I got a wood colored one yes so they're just thick MDF I mean if you're if you care for what they say one says you inspire me and one says love begins with you but I like to use those at Christmas time. They're super cute to put things on or even cover them with the fabric, put some twine at the top or put some burlap at the top, make it look like a real mason jar. Cute for chip trays, just little things to, you know, stick in places, whatever. Cute all around. Anyways, there, those were in just the regular craft square, or like the regular like decor section. I found some of these trees because these things were like super tough to get a hold of last year. Last year, I think I found a couple of them. I used them up and I wanted more and then they were gone. So I bought three this time. And I think there's another instance. I'm looking over where I have them. I usually hang these. Like a lot of times with these wood signs and stuff, I'll just hang them to store them. Because I have a bit of a collection of things. But I think I have like three more of them. So I think I should be set. There's a whole big thing of dust that must have fallen off my fan in my bag. 
I never dust the tops of my fans. Like the blades. And I must have a very dusty house because they're always gathering. Which I never understand. My fans, you guys will have to let me know. This is going to be a very chatty video apparently. My fans are always on. How do they gather dust? I don't get it. I'm sure there's some scientific thing that someone's out there thinking like, whoa, this lady's like not very smart. I, I typically would consider myself a fairly smart, maybe slightly above in average intelligence, but I don't understand that. Uh, look, I picked one up that's all broken. It's okay. That one will get covered in paper or something. By the way, those fat, the fabric the Dollar Tree makes, they cover the wood and stuff way better than paper, especially thinner paper. If you have fabric that you like covered in that, it's so easy to Mod Podge on. I've got some parchment paper. When I bought this, there was a specific reason. I know it was crafting related, but I'm like, I don't remember. There was something for it. Anyways, you get 10 sheets. It's oven safe, nonstick. 15 by 12. I thought it was a good deal. I'm pretty sure it was related to crafting. I don't know. Maybe it's just to come in here. Maybe it's just to have in here for some reason in case I need it. Sometimes it's good. If you're going to heat press something, that's good to have. It's good to paint on because you just throw it away. But I feel like there's something specific. Maybe it's for my clay. I'm getting into like the IOD molds and stuff. Maybe it was for that. Maybe I'll figure it out. Maybe I won't. Anyways, I've got some of these little laser cut things. I have seen them a few times here and there. I don't remember seeing these ones. I don't think I have any of these. These are all just like little clocks. I thought that they were pretty. I don't know what I'd use them for, but I got them. Mm, I got some of the houses too. Same bag as the other one. Same concept, the brown and the white. I think I got two of the white. Nothing matters. I never leave them like this. They always get painted. But I, sometimes I try to get a little bit of a variety of them to show you in case you are, you know, interested in one color or the other. Uh, one says, enjoy simple pleasures, and one is happiness is you. Same idea. Same way I removed all the stuff off of them from the uh, jars. I said it, guys, buckle in. It's a long one. Oh, these were cute. I don't remember seeing these last year. These little wood LED lanterns are adorable. I don't, I don't even know if I can, if there's anything to be done to them. They're just cute. One you've got ho 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 with Santa and it's the same all the way around. So you can put this on anything that you don't, you know, even if it's not going up against a wall. I'm just curious, hold on. Hold on. Usually, it's got a little roundy thing. And a spot to change out a battery. Come on now, Dollar Tree, that's just too good. Hold on, let me see if I can get it to turn on. Watch, it probably doesn't work or something. It's got a little, this way I'm following the arrows I'm trying guys it's not does it not work maybe it doesn't work hold on who knows what did I do I picked up one that doesn't work it would figure I'll have to try another one because I don't think you're gonna be able to see this but there's like that little thing right here that looks like it's supposed to turn something on and off but it doesn't seem to be doing that. Maybe it's been turned on all this time. Hold on. Are they? Oh, see, they have the pulley tag. That one had its tag pulled, so it's probably not going to work. Naturally. It's the one I pick. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there. That one's on. Oh, it's color changing. So they're color changing. Got a snowman. Now watch. Let's see. Can I turn it off? It turns off. Turns on, turns off. Little switchy, roundy thing technical term. Um, but the snowman is really cute. I don't think I even have to do anything to this. This one I really liked. Oh, he's kind of falling apart a little bit, but that's all right. On the bottom, no one will see it. Um, you got a reindeer that has Merry Christmas that's green. This one I probably would say is my favorite of those. Snowman's a close second. So at least those ones have a working light. I'm gonna try to put those somewhere. Anyways, I thought those were super, super cute. This isn't the regular section. <laughs> I laugh because I never look at this until I get home. And this thing is like gnarled. This looks like somebody chewed on it. I don't think somebody chewed on it, but that's kind of what it looks like. Anyways, it just got banged around. 
Well, anyways, it says home is where the heart is. And uh, they had that one, regular section. How did I get glitter everywhere? I have glitter all over my table and I don't know what it came from. That's not bad, that's not good. Okay, well, I'll have to figure that out. And then I got friends are the great, our life's greatest blessings. This one's not all gross and banged up. That's probably why this one was around because it was all banged up. Oh well, it'll go into my pile of stuff. I got some more of these color your own ornaments. So I got the one with the truck on, with the tree on the back. These are good to have if you craft. They're good to have for kids to do. This one with all the holes in it. I assume it's to look like lights. I don't think I could find that one last year if I remember. Oh, and I did buy some galvanized stuff. I keep see, I see it every so often. I'm like, no, I don't think I need that. I forgot I already had it. I'm glad I didn't pick it up again. So I've got the Christmas tree ones that are galvanized. And I got the big ornament, try not to blind you, that are galvanized. So those are super cute. Just two of each of those. I must not have liked the other ones. Or when I decided I needed them, I, they didn't have them. Right. We're getting there, but I still have a pile of bags on the floor. <laughs> um, some, this is new. I have never seen this before at the Dollar Tree. This is, it's called a wooden holder. Don't mind the yelling in the background. The kids are home and they're a little crazy today. Um, but it's got a little divider, cute for a drawer divider. I actually was at Target, which is the next haul you'll see on my channel after this one. And they had, um, I don't know if it was a, I don't remember how many, how many slots they had, but they had something that had slots, which I might make these into now that I haven't seen it. They were really cute and decorated for Christmas. They had like cute little things on the side and they were adorable. But when I see stuff like that, I'm like, I can make that. And I want to say it was like five bucks. It was a little more than, it was, if it was in the three category, I might've picked them up. I definitely would have bought them if they were in the one, but I think that they were the $5 ones. I found some more of these houses. I have, I fell over. I have some in my stockpile, you know, in my stash, but when you see them, you may as well grab them because I like using these for Christmas. So I got three of the, I don't know. It's not the skinny tall ones and it's not the short stubby ones. Like this is the short stubby. And I got one of the short stubbies. I think the short stubbies are the best ones, but they must not have had very many. They must have had one and I probably grabbed it. Um, so, sorry, I'm getting there. Oh. Again, they're not dying. They may sound like it, but they're not, if you just heard that. I've got some of these LED wire lights. So I got some in gold. What did I get? Two each, I think, yeah. I used to get three of everything, and now I'm trying to at least restrain myself just to get two of each. So I got them, they had them in gold. Oh, nope, I bought three of the green ones. Big surprise. Um, and then the green. I thought those would be cute, like intertwined together or just for regular stuff. And they have some pom-poms. That's a trim. So they got the red and they got the green. They make a white. Uh, they did not have it when I was there. Sorry about that. They're still acting like they're going to die, but I had to yell at them and tell them to stop. Um, so I've got some treat sacks. I thought these are adorable. There's a few different ones. I'll show you. I think I have one of each kind that I at least that I am aware of, um, but there's two in this one. They're rather large. These ones are nine by seven. So they come with two in a pack on this one with that red snowflake. They come in, this one says Merry and Bright. Not that you can't read that, but uh, they come two in a pack on that one. That's the same size. And then they have smaller ones that come three to a pack that are six by four. They have that one. So it's that same snowflake the Merry and Bright, that's the smaller pack. And they have a small of the Christmas tree that are three to pack, six by four. I have a really cute idea and I wish I had thought of it when I'd seen them. I had an idea that came to me after seeing something else that's related but not the same. Um, that's why I like looking at other channels or Pinterest or whatever, because sometimes you see things and you're like, that gives me an idea that's similar but different. Um, I got two of the Merry and Bright though. I like, must like those. Oh, and the snowflakes. I thought I remembered seeing a big one of the trees. I'll have to keep my eye out. Anyways, I have to keep an eye out for the small ones because 
I've got an idea and I need I need 24 of them. So I'm sure you can probably guess what that means, but I need 24 of them now. So they have these cute little signs. I'm guessing these are, I don't want to say taking over for, but similar, different than the previous signs that they had, like the little wood hanger for. They're just flat though, but they're still pretty cute. So we've got, you know, good tidings of comfort and joy on one and believe in the magic of Christmas on the other. These would be really cute, even though they're rather large for um, ornaments, but they're still be kind of cute for ornaments. Here's more uh, fabric. <laughs> so you've already seen, so there's three of them, that's all right. Um, the candy cane one, I'm just trying to sort through to see which ones you've seen. Got some of the stripe one and I've got two others. Again, with the gnomes, I like the gnomes at Christmas time, even though they're not, well, these might be their elves, but gnomes and elves are fairly interchangeable during Christmas, at least when they look like this to me, they are. Let me know. Obviously, there is some difference. I know some people are very efficient in their knowledge of gnomes. Tell me, what's the main difference between an elf and a gnome? Gnomes are thinking more like woodlandy creatures. Obviously, elves live with Santa. Um, but here's the gnome one. Super cute. Unless they're elves, tell me. I don't think these are elves. You do not see any pointy ears on them. I think those are gnomes. So I got two of those, and I got two of the truck one. Again, come Christmas time, it's uh, it's all it's all good in my book when it comes to the trucks and the gnomes. So super cute red truck, red truck and gnomes are just classic enough for Christmas, I suppose. Uh, some more of the make your own ornaments. I got a few of these because I think last year all I could ever find was like one pack. So I got those. And again, please ignore the screaming children in the background. Uh, I got some bells. Got them in silver and in gold. And some satin ribbons. I don't know why they called to me. This isn't even really a color I would normally gravitate towards, but... I thought they were really pretty, very, very nice, chic looking ribbon things. So I went for that. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a Halloween bag. These are more for my kids come Halloween. We're probably having my sister-in-law and her two kids. So I was like, well, let me get them something that isn't just candy because they're going to get plenty of that. So this one's for my son. I thought that was cute because he doesn't really do coloring books. But I got a Mickey coloring book. One's for my daughter, one's for my older of the two nephews that are coming. And then a Mickey um, Halloween uh, book. They will like that though. The youngest of my nephews is one, he doesn't really color or anything like that. He would just essentially chew on the paper. Now, of course, Halloween is... By the time you're watching this, it's almost over. <laughs> but I found this and I went ahead and grabbed it just because it is super cute. I might make my own kind of thing of this. It's pink, but that's because my daughter loves pink and I figured, oh, this will be cute for Halloween and stayed in the bag until now. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna try to make this into something for Christmas. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, it's got a really cute little witch's brew label on it too. That's adorable. And some random ribbon. I think I'd seen this uh, once before and I picked it up, but I figured I'd pick up one more, I suppose. I'm kind of getting into the point where I have no desk left, but we're almost there. A splatter shield. Um, when I picked it up, it was going to be a pumpkin and then I never did anything with it. So who knows? Maybe it'll be a big ornament now. I don't know. We'll see. It'll go in the stash if I don't use it. Give me a moment, please. Everything is kind of out of reach now. I feel like there should be two more bags and I'm coming across one bag. So maybe there's just one bag. I thought I had one more after this one, but I don't really know. It's all right. So anyways, there's this cute mug, gnomes again, gnome for the holidays. I thought that was really cute. There was another one I bought. I don't know where it is. Um, hmm. Oh, nope, I see it. I'll go across the room and get it in just a minute when I'm done with this one. Oh, avalanche. Uh, sorry again for the bags. I usually empty everything out. Oh, I'm glad I opened this because I am going to need those. All right. And I only bought two. I should have bought extra because my nephew's coming. Maybe I'll have to make an extra trip before Halloween. 
um because my nephews are coming and they'll want one too but i got some glow sticks two packs and i got some of the glow stick bracelets predominantly for halloween just we're just going in our neighborhood and there's not a lot going on in halloween time for in our neighborhood which is one of the reasons i like it um but i like to let them have some glow stuff for you know being in the dark i found i think i've actually i found the whole set i only picked up two but i've got these box decor things they're adorable the way they are i might make like the piece part black on this one i don't know yet and then this one with the poinsettias that are just really pretty I do not know. Like I said, give me a moment. Let me grab the other one. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> so, uh, one more bag. Hopefully the thing in here didn't get broken. So I saw this tag. It's super cute. This is glittery. So I'll have to just, you know, live with that. But I'm, I've got an idea for this. It's actually really pretty the way it is. It's so simple. You know, like sometimes their tags that they do are super like all over the place with the glitter and everything. This just has the word Noel. I think they're kind of starting to listen and really like tone down some of the crazy glitter stuff. I bought a bunch of these because I think they're adorable. It's all of these little ice skate ornaments. And I think I have a representation of every kind they make. I could be wrong. But they've got this one, which is got the black and the red, more of a plaid than a buffalo chick. And then I've got the red and black buffalo chick. And the white and black buffalo chick. Oh, he's a little, he's a little lopsided on his uh, skate, blade. skate blade. But they've got a little bit of, of you know, greenery out the top. They're just super cute. I found some of the these ribbons. I thought they were really pretty. This one is red with gold. I believe they're poinsettias. Kind of made me think of like a sweater. A little bit like a sweater pattern. I thought they were really pretty. So I got two of those. And one with snowflakes. I think I only got one of. It's not at normal for me. I've got this. Oh, yeah. I, I swear I looked at it. I don't know. It sat in my car a couple of days, so maybe it was fine until I did that. I don't know. But anyways, naughty and nice. I tried. I thought that was cute. But it's got like some weird like texture on the bottom. So make sure you watch out for that because that isn't very cute. <laughs> and I think I've got one more ribbon. Oh, that's Snowflake. I, I did buy two of them. And I think that is all. I had more of the skates, but they're in the back. I hope you enjoyed this. There's a lot. Now I have to go put it all away and find places for it, which is going to be the job. Apparently I'm looking around my room. It's a lot. It's, there's a lot of stuff. I hope you enjoyed it though. Let me know what you're excited to see in some DIYs. If there's anything you saw here that you're like, oh yes, I want to see that on a project soon. I expect I'm going to do at least one Dollar Tree DIYs video in November. I had to think about when this is going up. So basically, technically it's next month, but basically in November. At least one Dollar Tree DIYs. I think I've got mostly Friday videos with a couple of little extras trickled in. There is going to be a quick change challenge in that month in November. And there's my new challenge that I'm hosting, which is the Crafting for a Cause. This month it is with Crafted by Corey. For Morgan's Light, I'm going to be, I should have already put up a post on my community tab as well as on Instagram about the challenge, what it is, what you have to do, all that. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And if you have any questions, reach out to me over on Instagram or on my email. That'll be listed below. I think that's it. <laughs> so I hope you guys had fun. I had fun sharing all this stuff with you. I'm going to go to the task of putting it away <laughs> and I'll see you next time.